research has concluded that one out of three people have been in an abusive or a toxic relationship. Hi, I am Pooja Priyamvada. I am a counsellor. Do you think you have a toxic relationship with your wife? What are the signs of this? Let's find out what you can do about it and how to deal with this. So who is a toxic partner? Somebody who is toxic is a person who is not good for your mental health, not good for your well-being. A toxic partner would be somebody who would be encroaching on your personality, on your personal space, could be abusive at times and could be negative to your overall growth as a person. Let's try to understand this better. The first sign when you have a toxic wife is that they will lead you to self-doubt. Their observations about you, sometimes even their body language is such that you begin to doubt every decision you make, everything you say, everything you do. They are so critical of you in every moment of your life that you begin to put yourself under a microscope all the time. Self-doubt can lead to confidence issues and you might face problems dealing with other people at your work, in your professional life and sometimes you might not be able to pinpoint this to your personal relationship. Another sign of a toxic spouse is controlling behavior or their personality is such that they always want to be in control. This could also stem from their inherent need of perfection in everything which they then try to project onto their partner. Uh, often uh, when a person is toxic towards their partner, they would try to make all their decisions for them. They will try to decide what you will wear, how you will eat, what we will do, where we will go for vacation. So the decision making becomes controlled by only one person in a relationship and that definitely is not healthy. A toxic spouse is often controlling. That also means that they would try to control your interactions with your people with your friends, with your family and that can lead to isolation. Isolation is one of the strongest tools used by abusers. When you are isolated, you are at your weakest and a toxic partner often knows how to use this effectively against you. In a toxic relationship, you will be the person who is always wrong, which means your toxic partner is always right, is always perfect. Their life is always perfect, their friends are always right, their way of doing things, their family's way of doing things is always the preferred one. This might not be a good practice anywhere and if at all there are children involved in this equation, this can even affect the self-esteem of your children. A major sign of a toxic relationship is gaslighting. Gaslighting essentially means that your version of reality is constantly being pitched against their version of reality which they often value more than yours. So you begin to doubt your experiences, your thoughts, your beliefs so much so that you often think that you are incapable of making a decision or even having a valid feeling of your own. Gaslighting is also one of the ways emotional abusers keep their victims in control. They try to discount any of your experiences by calling them lies, by falsifying your lived experiences and by demeaning you in public or even in private. A toxic spouse would want to have control on your finances. They are the ones who are making major calls about where the family invests, where are your assets going. They are the ones who might even be controlling the money you make. This is one of the strongest tools they have against you and they make the best use of it in your most emotionally vulnerable phases. A toxic spouse will never acknowledge your consent. Your no has no meaning for them, whether it is in the bed or it is about getting up at a particular time or making your porridge in a particular way. They will never understand what you like or what you don't like. 
they would want you to keep doing things for them whether you like it or not so such a person often is also a narcissist whose world revolves around themselves and you will never be in their priority the idea of personal space is very important even in close relationships but a toxic partner is never going to understand this they think that you should have no existence or no moment without them another sign of a toxic relationship is when you find no support from your partner in your challenging situations this could be about personal situations as well as life situations as a couple you will be the one who will be forced to be the front face of a situation alone and then if at all things fall apart you will have to take the blame hence it is very important to understand that if a partner is not your support system they are not your partner at all if you find yourself in a toxic relationship with a toxic spouse here are the things you can do first of all it is not your duty to fix them you are not a recovery school for a toxic partner you should try to focus your energies on yourself you are the victim here you should look after yourself you should look at the various ways in making yourself secure and if at all try talking to them to work on themselves only they are capable of making their behavior less toxic towards you often in a toxic relationship people try to deny help their sense of shame and fear is so much that they try to isolate themselves they do not talk about it to anyone rather they try to cover up for the toxic partner it is very important that you seek help it is important that you have honest conversations with your partner and then also with a counselor with a therapist and an understanding friend a listener can often make you reflect better on the situation and understand that what is seeming like love and being possessive is actually being toxic if you like today's video make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel and also tell us your opinions in the comments